up with hey guys oh wow welcome back to the nw channel hey this is a 2018 this is an acura rdx this is an suv it's a beautiful black color one and what i'm showing you is the top part of the radiator and i'm putting the hose clamp back on it now i had to drain all the antifreeze out of it and the reason why i'm gonna tell you why there's a little clipper down here up under this little the cover is a front engine mount all right and one thing about this front engine mount, when they go bad, let's go to the oven right here where it looks like. It's got like a bag effect. The reason why it's real gushy smushy is some gel in there, some hydraulic fluid. And what it is, this is an actuator. It goes on to it, the plug goes to it. So when the car is running, the electricity gets to it, and it pumps like an airbag, pumps it up to make it full and whole and make it stiff and tight so it keeps that rubber in there real tight so when you're taking off you don't have all that uh, lag on pulling you know with your transmission and that's why they make it this way honda always made these mounts and plus they make it where it makes it a little bit more tougher so yeah they'll last longer but you know things do happen in life you know you know somebody might hit you in the front, front end of your car or something like that and you know it could bust the bag and if that happens you have to Go ahead and change it out, or else you won't have that great ride that you used to have before you know, an incident. But anyway, in this case, we're changing it out. I uh, would suggest you remove your battery, your, your cradle, and you remove your battery, you remove the, uh, the mount that goes to the battery. This part has a little plastic cover, remove that so you can see where your radio support is. Remove the radio supports, it has to be removed, and then you can pull this all the way forward and hold a bungee cord on it so you can make room so you can get this fan out it's a fan got to be removed if you don't remove this fan on the driver's side then you're not going to have enough room to get that front mount out of there and then you're going to need a, a three ton jack or even a two and a half ton jack with a block of wood to put up under your, your motor to support it because there's a boat that you don't really see it i can show you on this old one uh the boat that go through here that's a 14 millimeter boat that go through here you will have to raise the motor up just a quick maybe like two inches to have enough clearance so you can get this uh, mount out. And these bolts at the bottom here, these are also 14 millimeters. You want to be real creative with a swivel to uh, get into the bottom ones down there, but it can be done. I would suggest using a half inch, three eighths or a quarter inch is not going to be strong enough. A, a half inch with a, with a pull handle will be suffice. Um, and also there's a bar that goes on top here, 17, 17. You got to remove this bar so you have enough clearance to get that fan out as well. But hey guys, thought I'd give you a little quick tutorial about this. I'm going to be honest with you, this is not a, hour, a job you can do in 20 minutes. I'm going to be honest with you, it's probably going to take you at least two hours to do this job because you got to move some stuff. And that's what somebody that's pretty steady, eddy with your hands. If you're not steady, eddy with your hands, it's going to take you two hours and maybe longer. Um, but just be patient. Don't fuss straight yourself. It can be done. Hey, the reason why I'm telling you that is because the W had to do it. So other than that, you enjoy your Saturday and you keep it rolling, you know what time it is and don't forget to like and subscribe. Always like and subscribe because that makes the W and the, and the mighty T happy.